Welcome to Ella's Beef Easter's Radio Air Check and Classic TV Channel. 101.32 WD, Dick Lamb, breakfast bunch time is 624. Well, thinking about a wake-up call, I always wanted to do this for somebody, and son of a gun, they did it. An Iowa family woke up uh, the other morning to find the entire Dubuque High School marching band, <laughs> trumpets, Drums and all, performing on their front lawn at 7.15. <laughs> Why? <laughs> it was a gift from a friend, uh-huh, some friend, who won the who won the Marching Mustangs Wake Up with the Band fundraising raffle. He won the band, so he sent him over to his other friend's house to wake him up. <laughs> there are four children in that family that they woke up, and the eight-year-old Jeremy said... Well, I thought there was going to be a parade. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be a cool thing to happen, though? Dick Lamb. 101.3 to WD. 101.3 to WD. Dick Lamb Breakfast Bunch. It is 641. Good morning. This is Walter Cronkite, retired anchor for the CBS Evening News. That's why I'm promoting Dick Lamb and not necessarily the news on 101.3 2WD. Well, I thought uh, since we had a big weekend of golf around here, I'd do a little quick golf story. Uh, you know, the hole-in-one thing, that's, it doesn't happen all that uh, often, does it? Uh, but last Friday in Marietta, Ohio, Dan Kohler, he got a hole-in-one. And he couldn't wait to telephone his brother in West Lafayette, Indiana. Gave him a call, too late. Miles away, his brother Tim had just done the same thing. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Woo. Uh, all in one calls him up. Yeah, I did the same thing. Oh, stop it. No, really, I did the same thing. Yeah, sure you did. Oh, uh, sure. <laughs> yeah, Mom always liked you better. Yeah, <laughs> you hear that stuff going on. Elton John does it. It's 101.3 2WD. 101.3 2WD, Dick Lamb and Breakfast Bunch. Everybody's right here today is Angie and Paul and me and you. She's back to cooking again, got her new stove in, so... Uh, Fired that baby up. Yeah, that's right. Some oh, sauce yeah. cake here with raisins and oh, stuff. It's very good. Oh, it's good. <laughs> it's very good. Mm. Somebody was telling me yesterday at church, said uh, they were excited to hear about you making taking your shot to be on the Regis. The Regis so. I haven't heard yet. Nothing? Nothing Why? yet? <laughs> when do we send the tape off? When do we send the video? Well, let's see. I sent it overnight on Thursday. Thursday. So I got, they got it Friday. Well, they had all weekend to look at it. Yes, they did. You'll hear from them later today. Yeah, I'm sure yeah. that's what all the staff did all weekend was look at tapes. Of course they did. And they yeah. were so captivated, so mm -hmm. enthralled. Uh-huh. I'd get my bags packed if I were you. Oh, yeah. They are. <laughs> they are. <laughs> Permanently. <laughs> Always ready. <laughs> yes, no problem. I'll be at the plane. And I'll be right there. Ten minutes. Nine. <laughs> That's sort of like you. You always have that suitcase and your passport ready. Always ready to go. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. In case you, you never know. Get out of Dodge. <laughs> <laughs> Who, who's, that? who's at the door? Oh, look. Keep me covered for a few seconds. <laughs> well, uh, we'll see how all that works out. Huh? Mm -hmm. Who's he got? Like he did, uh, he had like regular people, people. Uh huh. And now he's as opposed to us, <laughs> as, as opposed to <laughs> women in radio. in radio. Yeah. Now when's he supposed to start that? What's the timeline? The well, it's the week of the twenty four, twenty third uh, of October. So it's oh. uh, two weeks away. Oh wow! So he's got this week to or he like he's <laughs> looking at the tapes. His people yes will be looking at all the tapes mm -hmm. and have been, I guess. And then Today's his, the deadline to get it in. Then his people will talk to your people. Oh, sure. And, uh, that'll take mm -hmm. care of that. We'll do lunch. Who, All who, right. who are your people? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> who I are, don't know. Who are your peeps? I don't think I have any. <laughs> it's 6.55. Oh, Jack and Diane, John Mellencamp, man. Hey, <laughs> boy, is a friend of mine. That's the way he talks. He likes the way I talk. Mm-hmm. 709 and 101.32 WD, Dick Lamb, Breakfast Bunch. Veronica Martin, Knoxville, Tennessee, claims she was permanently scarred after a really hot pickle from a McDonald's burger fell on her chin. She's suing for $110,000. And aside from her claim of physical and mental pain, 
Her husband, Darren, is seeking $15,000 because he, quote, has been deprived of the services and consortium of his wife. Oh, gee. Probably because he called her pickle face. 